okay, the dog that you're about to see is not for sale. I got a lot of people asking me already on Messenger how much I want for him. I said I'm only doing stud with him. So, if you want to breed him to one of your bitches, low, low stud feed. No, I just want him to throw those colors out there and good structure so you guys could have better quality puppies. You know, I want to promote better, healthier bullies. Okay? And that's it. Promote better dogs. Breed better dogs. A lot of you guys are bleed. You'll, you'll get a stud for a lot of money and then you get a mediocre bitch to be with and then have well you probably get one or two good dogs out of there and then the rest be like pet quality dogs or, or some shit that's not even worth breeding to in the long run uh, so that's all I'm just trying to get y'all something decent you know you don't gotta pay crazy amount of money and shit I do this for the working people. I don't. Well, I'm not like everybody else that you see on YouTube. It's put like that. You don't see me flashing money, talking about how much I made off of dogs and shit like that. You guys see, I breed my own dogs like every two years or some shit. Once or maybe twice. It's only been a couple occasions that. I had two sets of litters on the ground at the same time, so y'all can see what type of breeder I am. I am not just trying to pump out puppies and shit. I don't have puppies for y'all all year round like that. Okay. Need a stud? A nice athletic stud right here here's a classic bully standard size uh, this is a topic that comes up a lot how to get my puppy big thick muscular look you should not be trying to add all the weight you can on a puppy. The growth plates are not even sealed. When the dogs are under a year and a half, they're still growing tall. So by you adding a whole bunch of weight on their bodies, you're going to fuck up. The strength of the bones, cartilage, and everything. You will create a unhealthy dog. Um, so I suggest you guys to feed how it says on the back of your dog food. And you guys have to get good quality dog food. Okay. Um, Stop adding all this weight on puppies, okay? Wait till they're old enough, then you start adding weight. That's all you need to do. The genetics will come out in time, okay? Don't rush it. Welcome, the new stud. This is a classic American bullet.
He's a year and a half. He's a blue mango with some ticking on the head. Um, I'm about to give him a shot. Cause all my dogs get fascination. Any new dog I introduced in my yard gets a fascination. See, I'm here with my baby. On this hot day, um, he's getting excited cause he see the bitches in my backyard. So, brought him in the house, cool down a little bit, and give him a shot. What's up, what's up? It's your boy Static, owner of Vanguard Kennels. Okay, um, I'm located in Rockford, Illinois. So a lot of you Midwest breeders or just somebody in general public that wants to do business with me uh, all you gotta do is make a comment you know in one of my videos now I will see your video and then we get I mean I see your comment then I get in contact with you give you my contact information because right now my business phone is down so uh, I'm gonna have to give me a new phone and I probably changed my business number anyway. I got too many scams, calls on that motherfucker, you know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just too much shit going on. You get a lot of spam on my regular phone, but my business phone, it was way too much. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I'm just showing y'all the new pup I got. It's not my blood but he is a standard classic bully um so i need to get a outcross so my fourth generation of bullies uh whenever i decide to breed them with that male, I will get more size. Um, I mean, I, I have no problems how they are now, but I, I want taller dogs, you know. Um, the boy is around, I gotta measure him, but he seems to be 19 inches at the withers. His head size, probably about 25 or 26 inches. Well, he's still growing. He's only a year and a half. So, um, I might put some weight on him. Slowly work him out a little bit. Um, yeah. So, y'all y'all gonna see the same feeding types of shit. I show y'all in videos. I created my YouTube channel for my customers. So they know how to feed their dogs if they want them to look like mine. A lot of people come back to me two years later and see one of my pups that I kept off the same litter and be like wow yeah I feed quality food you know quality dog kibble and plus I make my own homemade dog food and I incorporate uh, vitamins and bone supplement like vitamin pills so it's critical to know these dogs need vitamins. You know, I do a, a barf diet slash 
raw feeding. Um, it consists of whole meats, whatever meat I choose, uh, fruits and vegetables, and organ meats. Okay. Um, other foods. Y'all see my videos. Go to my playlist, Dog Health, and scroll down. I'm, I'm talking about a lot of different shit. Even though my video might be titled One Day, I might be talking about three other topics, you know, within the video as well. So I try to get out a lot of information so you guys can have healthy dogs also. Okay? Um... Just like the other day, I posted the video about uh, the yard, you know, keeping the parasites and shit down. You know, you'll have a healthier dog and shit, just like simple shit like that, you know. But people don't watch my videos and then they don't like it. Um, it's hard for my videos to be seen by people that really needs to see it or... If you do watch the video, you're not hitting the like button and you're definitely not sharing with your friends with dogs. Uh, the information works for all breeds, okay? Not just bullies and pit bulls. Any type of working dog, show dog, you know, toy dog. These days works for all breeds. I want to create a healthy, working, family oriented protection dog. That is my focus. So I need correct structure so they could perform. Okay, that's why I breed for it. So, yeah, I'm not gonna have um, the short dogs that people like, nope. The shortest dog I have is a pocket, and it's a taller pocket. So, right at the threshold, he was 17 inches at the wither. So, you know, the pocket is. 15 inches to 17 inches and then the standard is 17 inches to 19 inches so yeah right there right at the threshold so um like I said I got classic bullies um I'm gonna start doing XL bullies but when I move, okay, uh, I probably won't be, be in Illinois no more. I'm, I need a house with land. I need at least four acres or something so I can really do what I want to do. Um, over the years, since I've been bringing my own dog since 2005, it's been a lot of situations. I couldn't keep my dogs. I had to move, bring home my dogs, um, get in contact with people, you know, good people. I, I try to fit each person I sell my dogs to, but sometimes you can't help it. Your dogs end up in the wrong hands, you know. Um, but if they gonna take my dog and breed, to whatever I want them to at least have a healthy dog so watch my video uh, even though you got contracts and shit yes I sell pups papered in a contract with certain stipulations and I am unable to know what the person is doing with the dog unless it's been 
taken to uh, the shelter or something, and then the shelter people will call me or something because they might have a chip in them and my num my number, my address might pop up and stuff like that. Or somebody else I know is taking pictures and videos and saying, yeah, your dogs are being mistreated. And then <clears throat> I'll take the legal procedures, you know, get my lawyer on it <clears throat> and prosecute. So, hold on, damn kids in the back. Round. I'm trying to make a video for y'all and this <laughs> yelling, cussing, fighting and shit. Well, I guess she went back in her room. But anyway, um, I breathe for myself for my pleasure. Uh, I, I keep what I want and then I sell the rest to you know, farms, uh, people that work their dogs that go um, boar hunting, raccoon hunting, fox or something that protects their land from other um, creatures, you know. So that's most of my clients. Um, I sold to, you know, the general public before but my best clients are farmers and stuff like that um, a couple police officers um, people from the shelters you know I I try to help the shelters by promoting training and dog health and stuff like that I go and help them uh, train dogs and stuff like that. So I'm an advocate in <clears throat> obedience. So um, I don't know. I'm just talking. I just gotta make a video. So keep you guys. They are watching my videos. Entertain. You know. Uh, I think get off this phone. Shit. You know. I got control the household all right uh anything you want me to talk about or answer just let me know a lot of you guys are my facebook friends hit me on messenger okay i'm not no big time celebrity nothing I'm not one of these guys out here being fake. You know, I'm not selling dogs for crazy prices. I sell my price for working people, you know. Well, <clears throat> all I need y'all to do, the ones that are watching my videos and getting information, is to hit the like button. That helps me a lot. I keep my video flowing up top so more people will see it and I can keep putting out good information, you know? Help a brother out. Damn. I'm helping you out with making these videos, you know? <laughs> Damn. Anyway, the static and this is Vanguard Kennels. Yeah. All right, y'all. Peace out.